Now, in the second second stage of a of a Google uh, Hangout event, we're going to plan a Hangout. Okay. So when you plan a Hangout, you're you're basically planning a, a Hangout with a group of people or the public ahead of schedule. Now, planning a hang Hangout is not having it go live on on the internet. Okay, this is just a private Hangout or a public Hangout, but it doesn't stream it live to the internet. So here what you do is you go to your events page on the left hand side and then you'll come to this and you click plan a hangout. You go straight away again, you go to the event options, you go to advanced and show more options. So you put the title into the, you, you can change the theme to whatever theme you want. You can again, you can upload your own photos, but they've got to be a certain size and a certain file type to be accepted. And you can do them from any of the different options you've got there. We're not going to, we'll, we'll put this one in there, how's that? Okay, there's the theme there. You put in a title and you create a date and a time for that hangout. And very importantly, again, you select the time zone that you're in. Okay, there's a whole range of time zones. Okay, so you select the date, could be sometime in the future, and the time and how long the hangout's going to go for. Okay, then you put the details of the hangout in there. You can put a URL for the website. You can sell tickets for your hangout if you want. Um, put a YouTube uh, preview video into your Hangout. Uh, obviously, no parking information will be in there. And then you, you invite people. Now, you can invite people by their email address, by circles that you've created in Google+, uh, or by uh, the names of uh, names of people, okay? Um, but, uh, you know, if you want to do it, you can make it just a public one. But you, that's the options you've got, okay? Invite names of people, you can type the names in, and if they're in your database, they'll come up, circles or email addresses. And then you click invite, okay? And then you'll be taken to the, to the event page, okay? So that's how you create a, a, an event in, uh, in uh, Google Hangout. And, so, and, and similar to the way a normal event is, you'll see how many people have accepted that are coming along and how many people have said no and how many people have not responded and blah, blah, blah depending on, on what type of uh, people you invite, whether it's public or, or private people, okay? And then you'll get a notification, um, usually uh, in your Hangouts or up here in your notifications of when the Hangouts about to begin. It's best to get there 10 to 15 minutes beforehand. Maybe create, maybe create a Hangout, um, create a Hangout immediately while, when you log in 10 minutes before by going to Hangouts and clicking Video Hangouts Okay, and then just testing that everything's working fine. Okay, all right. So let's go. Uh, let's go back to uh, the events. So again, what you, you do to start with you, is you click plan a hangout. You put all your details in there. The first thing I always do is go to advanced and show more options. Put your title in. That it's a hangout online. Okay, details, which is description. Website URL if you've got one, if you're selling tickets to it, ticket seller URL, but I don't know how that's going to work. Um, uh, put a pre, you can put a preview video in there, uh, no parking and that, and then you can invite people either by their name, circles, or email addresses. And that's how you do, that's how you plan it and hang out for the future. And that's, remember, that's specifically for people, usually you can do it for, for public, that's fine, but most of the time I use this is for uh, sets of people that I'm going to invite. So I might invite 10 people to it or five people if we have meeting online meetings, which I do a lot of, okay? So that's, that's planning a, a, a Google Hangout, okay? And in the third video in the series, we're going to do a, a Google Live Hangout on air. We're going to plan one of those.